GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zila, and we are here today doing the Alpha 10.5 series. This is the uh, vanilla start on the advanced um, temperate planet. And on my way back to the Hongo, after searching for cobalt, which I found a little bit, I ran across this unknown structure, so we're going to check it out. Now, I know that the if I shoot out the door, so let's do that. The core is like right there. It's like right there. Um, here, let's lower down a bit. We're already pretty low, but get a little lower. See if we can get in a little bit here. No. Okay, well what we're going to do then is we're going to activate the spawners. So let's get our shoddy. Now as soon as I jump down they should spawn. Come on. Yep. Oh, come on. There you are. Die. Die. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. Okay, these things are tough. They don't, uh, they don't walk in a straight line. Die! Jesus. Here, let's raise up a bit. That way I can actually aim at them. Okay, s stop moving. <laughs> yeah, I know they just got crap on them. I don't really care. Let's go down. All right. Let's check this out. We'll pop the core before they respawn. So there's the core right there. I think I can get it with the shoddy. Oh, come on. Let me up. Oh, I hate these stairs. Getting it? There we go, yep. Yay! Okay. Let's check out, see what it's got. Ooh! 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 Lots of good stuff. Uh, are those going to fit 2K a piece? I don't think. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, let's run away! <laughs> Okay. And, uh, now, if we leave it on the action bar, if we leave it down here, the 433 tons. Now, if I actually watch this, so if I move them to here, we bought them right out. Boom. See that? I can't actually, it can't hold that weight. It's crazy. But, if I move them onto the linked bar, the linked bar doesn't seem to matter for mass, just volume, which, uh, and then, it, see, the linked bar is bugged out. It's just bugged out. Let's, let's head back to the Hongo now that we got our tasty loots. Let's see if we can make it there without, uh, any problems? I don't think we should have any problems. This thing flies, well, drives quite well. Let's uh, get over water. It's going to be easier. Uh, 
Oops. It's funny how the confetti moss is like super strong and resilient. Tip your ship over. Actually, let's turn the lights off. It's creating a foggy effect I don't like. The volumetric lighting in the game they, they need to work on because it's just all it does is just create fog. It doesn't really create light. <laughs> it's kind of silly. I wish they'd actually just turn it off, to tell you the truth. Okay. So, well, here we are, back at the Hongo. Let's unload these thrusters and stuff. So... Let's put all the mats into here. And then... Oh, right. We haven't put the another cargo box on, have we? Okay, well, that's fine. We'll just dump it all in here for now. Eat that. And we'll put that in there. Yikes. Okay. That's good. That's going to go a long ways to uh, being able to spawn in a, a CV. So, awesome. Good start. Well, I won't stack. Just a thousand. Okay. Uh, okay, so what's next on the agenda? We've got, we've looted that. I guess what we should do is we should finish off the HV. We'll put some O2 on it. O2 dispenser, what's our levels at? We'll get the drills made, put those put on. Um, and then we need to actually find a real home. So let's get this stuff crafting. Yeah, we can just leave that hovering for now. I don't care. So let's unlock all of the stuff we're going to need. I want the O2 station. Might as well unlock the detector. We're going to need the Pentaxa tank for... Is that SV also? Yes. Okay, we'll unlock that. Polaris hold shield. Won't need it yet. Armor locker might come in handy. Let's do that. Uh, drill module. Okay, and then we want... We want elevator block, advanced constructor, uh, mechanic, uh, medical devices, projectile turret. We got the solar panel. Okay, sentry guns. really need to make those two. That's another 19 points. You know what? Let's do it. Uh, weapons. We've got a shoddy. Let's make the assault rifle. And then tools. We should probably miscellaneous large fuel pack. Ventilator. Let's make that. And large fuel pack. Okay, let's start working on the small vessel stuff. Although, you know what? No, let's let's work on capital vessel. Because I think we can get a capital vessel going and functional before a small vessel. So we'll unlock this crap, unlock that, get shutter door, projectile turrets. Don't have enough for that. Okay, so let's do thruster. There we go. Okay, so we need we need more container extensions. We need a um, we need the drills. So six drills. We need a bunch more container extensions. So let's say like ten of those. We need the O2 dispenser. We've already got the fridge on there. Okay. 
So let's make that. We need, we'll take 10 of these. We need six of these. I want to make the O2 station for it. Okay. Uh, let's make a detector too. And then we've already got the wife on there. Yeah, we'll, we'll get that on there somehow. We'll figure it out. Okay, well, while it crafts that, I will come back and grab you when it's done. Okay, we are back. It's the next day. I slept for the night after making all the stuff, so it's ready to go. And we have a environmental hazard that is settling in, a radiated fog. Not that big of a deal. Uh, we have our light armor. We also have, um, did we not find? Yeah, we've got the heavy armor. We could put that on. We'll just consume food faster if we're wearing it, but eh. We don't have any uh, armor boosts yet, so. I mean, it's an option. We could put that on and totally avoid the effects of this radiated fog altogether. Um, actually, I don't even know why I have that on me. I'm either going to wear it. You know what? Right now, I'm, I don't need to. Because we can stand inside here and do what we need to do, which is upgrade the hover vehicle. So before the fog gets real bad, let's go out and move this thing. Uh get it up to max hover height here we'll um wish i could kill this tree oops killed something <laughs> got 100 experience for it <laughs> one of my own uh yeah probably one of my own panels anyway this will be fine right here so let's get this raised up And then we'll jump out. And yeah, see now the radiation is getting too high. And the heat because I'm standing on it. <laughs> okay. We're just going to turn this off. Have it sit nice and high. And we'll just go back inside where we can handle the radiation. So let's grab from here. Um, yeah, because that's where it's all. Let's connect to that. Grab that, grab that, grab that, and those, and put that out. So let's do that. We'll try this out here. There we go drone needs a space to to spawn. Wow, look at that fog, eh? Ouch. That's some radiated fog. We're up to, what, 5.5? So more than what a light suit can handle. And if you didn't have anything to protect yourself at this point, well, that would radiate you up pretty quick. Okay, so let's link to our uh let's grab our stuff we just gotta flip to this here let's put our um put our panel up first we'll just put it in with one of these i think it was one of these and it's just sunk right down into the ground is it not oh really <laughs> too far God, okay. Okay, we'll do it a little closer then. Can we get it down low enough to... What about if I do like this one? 
No, is that the right one? No. Uh, one of these, maybe? No. There, let's try... Ah, it wants to go on top. Okay, so let's just do this then. We're going to connect to Hongo by hitting N. Then I'm just going to place it down where I freaking want. Right there. <clears throat> okay. And here, let's disconnect from Hongo just because if I want to do other stuff, it can trip me up. Um, so it looks like we got a little bit of damage. Are those damaged? Yep. Not that big of a deal. Get those all fixed up. Frickin' drones. Okay. Get that all fixed up. There we go. There we go. And that looks like things that were damaged then yep okay good <laughs> okay so first of all we want to put the geez that is so loud and annoying we want to put this in now we can either put it this way or have it off to the see I don't think that's gonna work because I got to put the drills in first so let's do the drills let's do the drills so we got to do where are they going to come? We need them right to there, to the front of the, just to even with the light. Yep, right there. So that one's going to be right there also. Come on. Oh, we've got to pop this off now. This is no longer needed. It did its job. Thank you very much. Okay. Get that in. And so that means this drill will go right, nope, right there. And then this one right there. Okay. So there's the drills. So let's put in the rest of the equipment here. Uh, oxygen, we could, let's see, we could do, like that, or like that, and have the, because if we did, if we did that, I'm pretty sure, no, I don't like that. I don't want... I want us to be able to stand there. So let's go like... And then how we're going to have that come out. Uh, I'm not too sure. Not too sure. Or we do... I know this thing's freaking heavy too, isn't it? Five hundred kilograms. We go like this. Um, hmm. We could have it sticking out one more. Uh, 
Ugh. It's really kludgy there. It's really kludgy there. Not sure if I like that. But it centers the weight. Eh, let's do it. Screw it. Let's do it. No guts, no glory. I'm not going to be proud of this design, but we can, if we push out to the back more, we can get to it from the ground easier. Then we'll just fill in the rest here with blocks, with the extenders, and then get uh, extenders down here. We can fill in that with extenders down there. Do along there. So let's. What do we got? Seven. We could do two, four, six, eight. Okay, we'll make one more then. So let's do that. Two. Three. Four. See, it's coming into shape now. Six. And, oops, I had it there. And we need one more. Well, we could do probably do more than one what's uh what are we at now let's take a look let's take a look we have uh that is under harvest 5.8k almost 5.9 not bad so let's let's try and bump that to 6k <clears throat> excuse me bump that to 6k so we'll make, we need one, and four, we need five more. So let's, let's make five more. So apologies about the audio in the last video, only my mic was working and the game audio didn't come through in the recording. Um, <laughs> not very well anyway. Uh, my headset is flaking out. The wires are all... It's its a funky gaming headset that you can change. It can, like, mute the recording of my mic while... <laughs> or the recording of the game volume, even though that... Uh, um, yeah, because the if the game is listening to what I'm hearing... Uh, it's it's brutal. I, I can actually the headset can screw up the recording. Put it that way, just by all the software that's built into the USB controller on it. <sighs> and when that wiring gets flaky, it starts doing funky things. So, anyway, that's my little rant. Where are we here? One, two, three. Five. Okay. So what else are we putting into this thing? I think that's it. I think that's it for now. Okay. So let's get this finished off. Although I might have to put more, I might have to pop. You know what? I kind of want to do that now. Pop a couple of these uh, top ones off and put more RCS in. How many does this even have? Let's group this. Three? Crap, that's not enough. So we need two more RCS. Uh, 
that's okay. That's okay. SV H V one two. got the materials we can do it so we're gonna pop out a couple of blocks to do that we can do a couple on the top there should we do that these two right there let's do that right here that one see there's already an RCS underneath it it's like I knew there was needed two more okay do we have them yes we do and we'll grab the there we'll get those put back in somehow or another all right yeah once you put drills on these things you have to have like five rcs for it to even be viable or else don't even bother minimum five or more probably want like 12 to, <laughs> to be realistic okay so let's let's finish this off here we can so we've got six what should we do we can um we should bring this forward a bit right So let's do that. Let's bring this forward. We're going to do or Do we want to bring that forward? Do we want to just like finish it off? Like that. You know what? Let's just finish it off. Oops, what am I doing? Like that. that one and I think that might be all I do yeah I think that's all I'm gonna do for now we'll leave these two off that's fine that's fine what's this at 5.85 okay C you know what close enough to 6k close enough that's going to give us a really functional hover vessel uh, i'm not sure if it's going to have enough forward thrust we might have to put a um i should probably pop one of those and put another you know what let's do that let's do that let's do that Make another thruster. HV. Okay. Can't really have too much forward facing thrust because it's much easier to climb out of holes and stuff when you got when you can push back really hard. So I think what we'll do is grab I mean, I haven't really been burying any thrusters. I've been trying not to. I there's there's going to come a day when people designing buried thrusters are gonna are gonna hate life. Um, and besides, it's not really. I want it to be aesthetically kind of cool too. 
I like the look of thrusters. I don't like the look of flame shooting through metal plate. That's just weird. Uh, I think I... Having said that, <laughs> I might bury this thruster. Although I really, I don't like doing that. What else can I do? What else can I do? Uh, you know what? It was already kind of heavy at the front there, so let's just put the thruster in. Let's not worry about it then. We're just going to have the thruster facing forward. Screw it. Like that. That's fine. That's fine. It could, that could grab every once in a while, so it might be a little bit, bit of a pain in the ass, but I think we'll grow to live with it. Okay, let's take her out for a spin. Um, let's put this stuff away. We'll get it all fueled up here too. So let's go into the vessel, fuel, oh, it's already full. Oxygen, well, we don't need it yet, so that's fine. And fridge, we don't have anything in the fridge. We'll grab one, two, three steaks. It's gonna be plenty. Well, three pieces of meat. Come on, get it. Oh, really? And we fall to the ground. That's fine. So let's see. We'll get up to three and level out. Oh, it looks like it wants to stay fairly level, which is good. So let's take a look at how it sits. Okay, doesn't look like it's sitting down in the back at all yet. It actually kind of... Oh, it's hard to tell. It looks fairly flat, to tell you the truth. That's not bad. That's not bad. I think we'll be okay. And, oh yeah, it... it there we go, those two extra RCS. Yeah, see, that's how I like it. That's how I like it. Okay, so what do we got for ammo? We got, not bad. And that, okay, so, what I'm gonna do is, I'm thinking this is gonna be maybe our potential base, because I want, a good line of sight. We want it in the northern hemisphere, but not. I don't think there's going to be any good line of sight areas around here. I mean, maybe right there. Once we get down here, we'll take a look. I don't want to go any further south than that because, as you can see, the North Pole is the one with with the most light this time of year. So. Um, yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna camp on the North Pole somewhere. Well, not really. Um, I mean, maybe somewhere around here if we could go straight up and take a look. But I think right now, to finish off the episode, we'll just we'll just run down here and take a look and see what's down here. There looks like a Polaris area, so we'll just we'll just do. this and head over there and take a look um, I mean I should probably show you what it's like to to mine with this thing but right now yeah I know we're about to leave the job uh, too many trees and let's see will we capsize yes okay let's see if we can oh we're instantly out just by thrust alone 
not a big deal. Okay, so I will meet you over there. Actually, I fired it back up because our radar is just going nuts here. <laughs> Look at it. It's like... It's like nine things near us. Okay, well, we'll keep... We'll keep on track here. We'll probably reveal some of them on the way here by the look of it. It's at night. Can we turn our lights on? Oh, no, they just create fog. <laughs> no, this does not create good video. Okay, actually, it's not so bad if it's close up. <laughs> But, geez, oh, oh, wow, this is some thick trees. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, that's an epic lag. That was ridiculous. I don't, like I was saying, I'm not a huge fan of the uh, volumetric lighting. It just kind of. The further things are away, the more foggy they are. It's just, I don't know. And then out in space, it just creates big fog beams. <laughs> it's just weird. It just doesn't seem right. Let's let's not let's not force this on us. Oh, abandoned archaeological site. Ooh, that sounds very interesting. Let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. Are we going to have baddies? I don't see any red dots. That's a trick you can do. They show up uh, on the mini-map. On your map, bad guys show up on the map before, they're, before the radar. So keep that in mind. Ooh. Crap, does it have guns? It's a pyramid. How freaking cool. Is that like a giant hover engine? What is in there? I have a feeling if I if I go in ton of stuff will spawn on my head, right? It's really trippy. It's like, uh, oh yeah, I hear, I hear them. I hear the, uh, horrors. Yeah. Well, that's cool. That's something we could investigate. We do have the armor now. We got to get some, uh, weapons built, but, you know. Oh, let's keep going this way. So we're trying to reveal what we got. That's kind of cool. But uh, abandoned archaeological site. I haven't seen that POI before. And uh, woo. We are coming at the ocean here. So we'll just oh no, this is a field. Okay. God, look, see the the that the lighting doesn't work that well. I don't know. <sighs> Where are we? No, we didn't reveal any of the uh, Polaris. That's probably why um, everything's all... Why we have a ton of things to discover back here. And let's go do that. And we'll call it an episode. Next episode, we'll probably... I'm going to go scout out a few areas for us to uh, potentially start the base. Got to find the line of sight landing. Okay, what the heck? Oh, here we go. There we 
go. It's too too bad it's foggy, folks. Uh, and it's dark at night. I mean, but I think as we get close enough, the lights should reveal enough. That's pretty cool. Haven't seen that one before. That's neat. A lot of these POIs you'll you'll recognize because they've been in the game for a long, long time. And some of them are newer. Waste processing. Let's go take a look over there. That's really interesting. It's a cool looking building, eh? Well done. Look at that. It's got piping and stuff. Almost want to go inside and explore. We should. Should we do that? Should we go inside and take a look? There's some guys there. How do we get in? I guess I could just jump in from here. Hey guys, I want to uh, come say hello. Is that okay? Is that okay? Can I just do that here? There's a door there. Here, how how, how about I just dock here? You don't you don't mind, do you? See, I'm not friendly with them yet. I can't do anything. Uh, it won't even let me dock. Yeah, I can't do anything. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bother. You know what? I'll get friendly with them first. And speaking of, look at all these deposits here. Okay, here's a trick. We can get friendly with them right away. We're gonna do this wildlife cam. We're gonna activate that, and then we're gonna go fly around these uh, deposits. Get close. There we go. That's our first one. Then we will go back over to this one. And that's our second one. Then we'll go back over to this one. And that's our third one. Yay! Oh, we are not friendly with them. So we could work at that. By killing these things. Oh, there we go. We're friendly. Well, that didn't take much, did it? Go away. God. They are annoying. Whoa. What the heck was that? Was that a, sp a spider tipped me over? Are you kidding me? <laughs> that was pretty awesome. He is a bugger. He is a dead bugger. Well, on that note, I am going to call the episode here. Next episode, we, uh, now that we're friendly, we can like dig up that silicone and the prometheum. Uh, we can go f try and find some traders and talk to them, see what they got to offer. So next episode, we're going to actually explore this little camp here. Uh, so st stay tuned. Until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.